Alright guys, so I um, got the, my burner all done. I just have to do a little bit of modifying. I'm going to get a different blow dryer. This one's not mine to keep. It's uh, my mom's and my sister's. But I'm um, just using it for testing. But So this is like a cold fire, I guess. I, I, I ran it earlier and it runs great. But uh, here's just the test that I'm going to show you. Just got a 20 pound propane tank, obviously, that's what I'm, that's what it runs. It uses the Harbor Freight Weed Killer Torch, the normal one without the ignition, and uh, goes in there to the top to a 90 degree elbow, and then the, just goes into the expansion chamber, which is one and a half inch pipe, and uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty simple. You can look on YouTube, uh, other videos, and online, and see lots of different, different ways to build them. But um, this is just one. But so I'm gonna start up this. I have to, I have to the blow dryer that I'm gonna use. I have to cut one of these wires and then put a dimmer switch in there. Um, because um, because this is like it's still too powerful to run unless I run it like wide open, which is I don't want to do all the time. But because it'd be too hot. But so. That's what I'm gonna. I'm just gonna show you it running right now. So that's it going. And that's still red hot. You can see it. It's still at forgeable temperature. And, uh. Spit just burns right off it. But, aside from that, works really well. All I'm gonna have to do is, like I said, get the dimmer switch so I can really um, control the, the airflow. That thing's still hot. Still red hot. But, um, burning holes through wood. But, I'm excited to get it in the forge. Uh, next thing I have to do is drill the hole in the top and weld the, the pipe on. It's going to have the set screws, it's going to hold it in. And then I got to get some fiber fracks and some mortar. And, uh, they just coat the whole forge. And then we'll be in business. So, I'm real excited. What I'll do right here is just take this out so you can just see what I'm talking about. Oops. We got the Harbor Freight uh, torch right there. I'll just turn this off. I'll just purge it. This is the turbo lever. Even with with the cone on there at the end, this thing, when you have it screwed in there, you could almost use that as a burner, but it's just really, it's just not fuel efficient. It's just, um, but it's really hot. Like, it could definitely do it. But anyway, so you can see just got this is one and a half inch to one and a quarter. 
one and a half inch pipe by six inches. This is one and a half to one and a quarter. One and a half to like oh, just the nipple that's just all threads. It's like two inches. Then one and a quarter ninety. One and a quarter by six inches. And then this really doesn't matter. It really depends on what kind of blower you're going to put in there. But for the most part, that's the way you need to do. And I tapped, or I drilled and tapped this hole for this. And it was like 3 eighths by 20. But it was really weird. I think it's metric, but I had to drill it out a little bit. And I screwed it in there, and then I just soldered it to it. So it's got a really good seal. But, because it's never going to have to be taken out anyway. But, um, so that's my, that's my setup. I just... You can go to Home Depot and get them anywhere. There are more efficient ways to do this. Like, um, instead of having a 90 and then one of these nipples right here, you could have the kind that has the threads, that, the, the male threads on it. So, you could do stuff like that. But, this is just how I did it. It cost me like, like 20 bucks or something for, for everything, including some other stuff. But, so... Yeah, that's that's my that's my burner. It's all good to go. But um I was already messing around with it earlier. I was uh heating up some of that quarter inch rod and uh but that's still hot. Yeah, it's still I can't even touch that still. So this thing definitely it's gonna heat up a big wide area at a, at a time. And um I'm also gonna have a video up soon about my Harbor Freight anvil and how um, how I, I'm modifying it right now, so stay tuned for that. I'm not going to tell you anything about it, so you got to watch the video. And um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, just try this yourself. And also, because i got to say this every time, check out longevity-inc.com if you're into welding and into um, and all that kind of stuff because they can really help you out. And um, they'll, they got good machines and they're, they're definitely very friendly. Uh, economically with money wise so go check them out for me if you want and um, try to build one of these yourself and please subscribe and come back and watch the rest of my videos because there will be more on the forge and probably within the next two videos we're going to be blacksmithing so thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed it